at a local government level, at a capital city council level, um, I think we have an incumbency of leadership. We can do that through policy, we can do that through incentives, and we can do that by being an early adopter ourselves. So uh, we will soon have our own business operations, and they're relatively substantial. They will be carbon neutral. We will use everything we've got at our disposal as a level of government to showcase that to the community uh, in order to espouse the benefits of what we're doing, to encourage them to do it. Also, like aforementioned, <coughs> is engaging with entrepreneurs. Um, like Horace said, the entrepreneurs know, know where the customers are. They know where the customers are. And they know where the demand is. So we're working across a very wide field of entrepreneurs across various sectors to basically enable them to get into this business of sustainability and find opportunities in it. By working with our state governments, working with our communities, especially our entrepreneurs uh, of all sizes, whether they're corporate entrepreneurs or startups or everything in between, um, that's how we've managed to get the results we've got. We did have a visionary state government uh, some decade ago who through legislation really got this, uh, and through incentives, uh, really got the renewables up from a cold start up to 41% in 2015. And that's quite an extraordinary journey for a state to do that. But we have an abundance of wind and we have an abundance of solar. So even if Canberra is not acting, state government is? I think it's a, it's a bottom-up leadership approach, to be honest. I, I, I think that uh, Mayor Ferguson would relate to this entirely, is that we can lead at a city level. Cities are 80% of the emissions. Cities are also 80% of GDP. So if we're leading from a city level, I think it actually now the momentum is going back up the other way. So, and I think that's it's going to put us in a more sustainable place.